You may picture them in boots and saddles, swords drawn and rifles firing, riding triumphantly across the steeps of Russia. Join Monster Hobbies now as we unbox Ravel's 172nd scale Russian Cossacks. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again hobbyists, welcome back to another great unboxing video right here on the Monster Hobbies YouTube channel. My name of course is Trevor Ursulescu and I am your host tonight as we unbox Ravel's 172nd scale Russian Cossack model kit. This is a great kit by Ravel, you're gonna love it. It's something that you can paint and add into any diorama, school project, or I don't know, science experiment, haha. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but anyway, this is a great kit because it depicts one of the greatest riding teams in all of Russian history, the Russian Cossacks. Now, these brave warriors were fighting on horseback all the way up into World War II. And this box depicts the Russian Cossacks during that time period in about 1944. So. Join me now as we go down to the bench and unbox this amazing Ravel model kit. They were unlike any other people in Europe, not exactly Russian, but not an entirely distinct tribe, certainly not a military case like the Junkers of Germany. For centuries their homelands were a kind of melting pot, open to anyone brave or desperate enough to enter. Anyone in the world who wanted to be a Cossack could, they just had to accept the Orthodox faith. Now we're going to look at the Ravel Germany 172nd scale Russian Cossacks, Soviet Cossacks to be exact. Now this is a great model kit. It has 17 unpainted figures and 46 separate parts. This kit came out in 2008 from Ravel Germany. Actually, it could have even been an earlier kit as well, but this particular version that we sell at Monster Hobbies is the one from 2008. Now this great box is very much like many of the Ravel boxes of uh, 172nd scale figures. And if you note know on the back, they actually have a original size comparison here so that you know exactly how tall these figures are in the box as well as this great painting guide using Ravel Germany paints. But I have found equal success in using Citadel paints from Games Workshop. And here they tell you about the types of brown paints to use for your horses, as well as the saddlebags, the gray blanket for the horses that they had, as well as the tan style belt, and of course the Russian khaki uniforms with the blue pants and the leather boots as well as the sword and the rifle on his back the straps and the distinctive cossack hat it's quite a wonderful kit Cer certainly a most resourceful box top so now let's take a look at our sprues as we unbox this great model kit the russian cossacks have a great and long history dating all the way back to around the 14th century where they had helped the russian czar to defend russia against foreign invaders. This dedication lasted all the way up until 1917 at the beginning of the Russian Revolution. During the 1920s, the Cossacks fought alongside the White Russians to restore the monarchy, as well as a few fighting with the Red Russians to help end the monarchy. In April 1936, however, the Soviet regime began to allow Cossacks to serve openly in the Red Army. Of all the armies involved in World War II, the Red Army had the biggest cavalry, whose regiments formed separate cavalry corps. Ravel has brought out a great model kit here with exceptional detail, as you can see in the various Cossack riders and horses. Now I'm going to bring this up to the lens here so we can get a better view. Now take a look at these great Russian Cossack riders. They're all formed to fit onto the horses down below. As you can see, many have swords drawn, ready on that cavalry charge. These interesting pieces here are the capes, which will glue onto the back of the Cossack riders. And here you can see the great attention to detail from the mold makers and designers from Ravel of these great kits. You can almost see the horses riding across the steep as they defended Russia in World War II against the Axis powers. 
And there they are with all the saddle bags and everything, looking most exceptional and most wonderful. So now let's take a look at the second sprue here and see all the other riders. And here we have our second sprue that comes with this kit. And as you can see, there are many different varied poses of these Cossacks. Some just regularly riding or sitting on the horses watching the battle. And others have the swords drawn and rifles ready to, again, help defend Russia. Here is a Cossack firing off horseback on his rifle. And while you've got others in command position sitting back and more on the cavalry charge. Now this sprue, of course, is most of the riders with their capes and the horses down here. So let's bring this up into the camera lens and see exactly how these great riders look. So there we go with the tall hats. You can see excellent, excellent attention to detail. And there's our rifle firing guy and the great horses with again the saddlebags and of course the blankets and everything molded in. Again, wonderful work from the designers at Ravel, Germany. Let's actually turn this over and take a look at the backs. There you can see that each of the capes have a little hole and pin arrangement, so you can glue them into the back of the Cossacks. Try to use some kind of crazy glue or even two-part epoxy on these. Great, great detail. So there we have a look at our figures. And that concludes our examination of the Ravel 172nd scale Russian Cossacks, available now at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great review of Ravel's 172nd scale Russian Cossacks. And I hope you learned a lot from our history as I reviewed the great plastic inside. So if you would like to get your hands on a box of Russian Cossacks. Don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. We have a bunch of them left, but one day they will all ride off triumphantly into the sunset, never to be seen again. So don't miss your chance to get your hands on a box of Ravel's 172nd scale Russian Cossacks. And until next time, model builders, happy model building.